everyone and welcome to today's video. So in today's video, I am going to be telling you all about the quick service dining plan at Universal Orlando. Now, just to make it very clear, I did I paid for my dining plan at Universal um, because it was not covered as part of the travel agent fan program. So yes, I paid for this. I picked the one I wanted and I paid. So let's get started. Orlando, there are actually three types of dining plan. There is the universal dining plan, which includes um, a full service meal, a quick service meal, one snack, and one non-alcoholic drink. Now, just FYI, this is not available as a side purchase. If you want this particular dining plan, the full service one, then you do have to book a package and stay at a on-property resort. But if you're not staying on property, if you don't want to be limited by the options that are on the full service, then you can go to the quick service dining. And there is two options for that. There is the universal quick service dining plan, which includes a quick service, a snack, and one non-alcoholic drink. Or you can do the universal plan plus Coke style souvenir cup, and it comes with one quick service meal, one snack, and a one day refillable Coca-Cola freestyle mug good for one day in the theme parks. So you're probably wondering, well, Lena, what, what is the best option? If it were me, even if I was staying on property, I would probably go with the quick service with the souvenir refillable freestyle mug. And here's why. There are not a whole lot of options for the sit down options for the dining plan. It's very limited. It's not, and you just, and you cannot use it at the resorts. This is only good in Island of Adventure, Volcano Bay, or Universal Studios, plus some restaurants in City Walk. So if you're planning to, um, if you're thinking, hey, I'll just use my quick service at the resort, not going to work. So. Um, I definitely always will advocate for the quick service with souvenir free saw mug. When I went in no, early November, this is the mug that was offered. Sometimes they have holiday mugs. This year they didn't. And the mugs that Sam and I had when we went in 2018 that we didn't end up have enough space to bring them home, um, they actually were holiday themed and they had a handle. These don't have a handle, and I will say I actually like these better than the other ones. Um, it, they're, it's similar to a um, mug from Disney that has the chip in the bottom. Um, you'll set it in on, either on a, on a pod at a um, kiosk, or you'll put it underneath the freestyle machine. It'll read your mug, and you can dispense your drink. So, the quick service meal that I had was the one quick, one snack, and refillable mug. And I purchased this for two days, and the pricing is as follows. Um, the regular quick service that does not, that has the one drink instead of the freestyle mug is $25.99 per adult per day. The freestyle mug is actually $39.99 plus tax per adult per day. I purchased it for two days, so I had two of everything. I had two quick service, two snacks, and two freestyles. And this is the thing I like about the freestyle mug. I, I got this one, I got one on the day I got there. I did not have to take this mug back to the park and reactivate um, it. I'll show you what happened have my bag here and I put them in a bag in my luggage for a reason just in case there was anything sticky in them which obviously there was I have a second mug each each entitlement entitles you to a brand new freestyle mug so my suggestion is this Get your new freestyle cup every day. You don't have to worry about trying to rinse it out or wash it when you're in your hotel room. Plus, these really do make great on-the-go cups. They are solid. 
they are heavy duty and they're great to have in your cabinet for going on road trips right you know taking to the convenience store refilling them yourself and now sam has one and i have one plus i still have a couple entitlements and i'll tell you about that in a minute so if you go to universal.com and go to the dining plan which i will link in the description below you can see all of the places where you can use your stat credits your quick service credits and if the freestyle machines are all over the parks plus you can go up to any kiosk and have them refill your cup and i will be talking more about the freestyle mug solely in an upcoming video this is a question that I see asked a lot in different groups. Can I use my credits for my quick service at the Wizarding World of Harry Potter? Yes! Yes, you can. You can use a snack credit to get butterbeer, and that is actually something new. Um, used to, that would count as your non-alcoholic drink credit, but they switched that, and it's now considered a snack credit. So you can try butterbeer on the dining plan as a snack. Um, like I said, you can go to part the participating locations tab and that will be in the description below and it will share with you where the full service is located, all of the quick service locations, and all of the snack locations. When Sam and I went in 2018, we loved the fact that we could use a snack credit at Auntie Anne's Pretzels in the park and we could get the little pretzel bites. We'd pay um, the cheese is extra. It is not part of the snack credit. But we'd pay for a couple things of cheese. We'd split the pretzel bites and we'd watch the parade. It was a great way to have a quick snack that didn't cost as much of anything. And if we hadn't wanted the cheese, it would have just been our snack credit. Um, so I make sure, like I said, I will make sure that this list of locations is in the description below. I 100% love the dining plan. And if you are like, well, Lena, I'm going to be at Universal for three days, but I'm the most of the time I'm going to be at um, Disney or I'm staying at Universal, but I only plan to go to the parks three days. I don't want to pay for a dining plan that I'm not going to use all of. Here you go. You do not have to pay for the dining plan for the full length of your trip. If you want one day of the dining plan, you can buy one day. If you're like, hey, I'm gonna, I know I'm gonna use it for three days of my trip. You can buy three days of the dining plan. That is the beauty of the dining plan at Universal. I absolutely love it. It makes it so flexible. Then you're probably wondering, well, Lena, something came up and we weren't able to um, get to the park or we were so busy doing other things we didn't use all of our snack credits or we didn't use all of our quick service. I'm now out this money. No, 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 no. Save that card. Put it in your safety deposit box. Put it in your trip planning binder. Leave it in your lanyard and hang your lanyard on a hook. They don't expire. I'm going to let you think about that for a second. The credits don't expire. So, I had one card. We, we actually had two, but we couldn't find the other one. I had a card left over from our 2018 trip and I told the, when I was picking up my tickets and my mask at the vacation kiosk at Hard Rock, I'm like, hey, I have some credits left from 2018. Can you tell me what I have? He's like, of course I can. Just, so, you know, make sure to tell your clients these credits don't expire. They don't expire. <laughs> um, and he was actually really nice and wrote them down for me what I had left on the card. And I believe on this card, I still have one snack and one freestyle cup left. So I will be keeping this card. So this was my card for this trip. And on this card, I have one quick service meal, two snacks, and one uh, freestyle cup left. So I've got... A decent amount left on my universal gift cards and it doesn't expire so that means that if Sam and I go to, don't go on a trip to Universal until 2025 I will still have the same credits on these cards as I did when I left Universal um, on the 18th of November 2020 which is fantastic 
So don't worry about if you don't get amused. Don't rush to grab a snack that you really don't want. You save them for your next trip. You, when you purchase something off the dining plan, it gives you a receipt and it shows you your entitlements, what you use, and how many you have left. So that is really handy. Just like at Disney, it tells you what you have so that you can always be thinking about what, what entitlements you still have. And it does zero everything out. You can see that I had a freestyle cup and pizza tots at Green Eggs and Ham and Iowa in Seuss Landing. So that was a good use of my dining credits. So if you have any questions about the quick service dining plan, please feel free to leave them in the comments below. I will be happy to answer them. Um, if you are looking to book your next trip and you want to add the dining plan, 